What's up with big ball guy or big balls guy? Does he have both balls? Man has surgery for 134 pound scrotum. He walks around. Now he's sitting on some type of bus here, right? And a uh, public, you know, bus. And he he carries around a a plastic milk crate, you know, right. those milk crates with a pillow. And he's got to sit on the chair, and then in between his legs, he puts the milk crate upside down with the pillow on it, and rests his gigantic 134 pound ball bag. On the the milk crate and pillow. Yeah, that's a huge fucking. Ball. He wasn't he wasn't born this way. What either. a burden! It just started growing for five painful years. Wesley Warren Jr. watched as his scrotum slowly swelled into a 134 pound mass that hung to his ankle. All right, get Dr. Steve. Well, on the why the yeah, fuck yeah. wouldn't he <clears throat> stop when it was like? Well, maybe it'll get better. Uh, when it was 80 like 80 pounds. <laughs> it's like if it's if the diameter of your ball bag increases by, like, an eighth of an inch, how about you go to the doctor? But, but there's a lot of wiring down there. How, how, how do you take care of that? He recalled a mid-sleep maneuver that slammed his right testicle. I felt the most enormous amount of pain that one could possibly imagine. And then it pain, just starts growing from that pain point? pain quickly subsided as if a big rig was rolling off his scrotum. Right. I felt like I dodged a bullet. Oh, big rig. The following day, the sack had stretched to the size of a soccer ball. So did he go he's not saying. I went to the ER and they treated it as though I had some kind of infection. Uh-huh. Uh, antibiotics. Went to other doctors. No one was able to figure out anything for me. Oh, please. They would refer me to other doctors because I don't have insurance or the financial means to pay for these mm -hmm. folks on demand. The appointment would be six weeks away or three months away. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Lives off disability. Turn think? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know who's going to hire him? He, he had help Quite from... Quite the distraction at the... Workplace. Yeah. Ooh, look at his ball bag. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jesus. He got donations from uh, a show down the hall. What? He turned to radio host Howard Stern for help soliciting donations. Oh, he did? Wow. <clears throat> what? And he got money? Apparently. They yeah, probably got people money sent him, interview or something. Sent him money. Did Howard make him show it? I don't know. I think, uh, I think he just did a phoner. I would have. Ooh. Nah, you got some set of balls on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Steve will be calling us to talk about big balls in five minutes. Yeah. All He's right. dropping his children off. Oh, okay. I would have said to the guy, you're nuts. Uh, that's pretty good, Chip. I know. Oh, 13-hour surgery. So what is he down For to now? what? Like, what to was... remove the 134-pound mass. But what was the mass? Uh, and how did he get it just by rolling over in his sleep? Nah, he rolled over in the sleep and it, it fucking, that's when he realized he had something going on down there. Something ruptured. It's like kind of a fluid collection. Flood. Oh, no, he already had Flood. something growing and when he maneuvered in bed, it, it exposed it to yeah. him. Grotal yes. lymph lymphedema? What yeah. is it? Lymphedema. Lymphedema. Scrotal lymphedemia. <laughs> scrotal lymphedema is what happens when your scrotum uh, grows. Build up of fluid. Fluid to mass and tissue. Tissue. It will knit itself into the fabric of your scrotum. You know, those things you can't get on the show. <laughs> yeah. Tissue. Tissue, I don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is what you get when you wash your neck. You get clean necks. Dr. Steve Chipperson. <laughs> Or something. Uh, Fluids or something. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's a big mass or something. So, so, you know, a bunch of people in church inside of your scrotum or something. So, so, so. <laughs> you know, like Dr. Steve Chipperson? No. Uh -huh. Who would? <laughs> Flood. Yeah, a bunch of fluid. Wow, that's... I hate those stories. You gotta like grab yes. your, you gotta grab your balls when when you you're hearing these stories. I don't know why. Grab yours. <laughs> Ow. Ooh. I don't like that. Yeah, bad as bag must have seen. Oh my oh. god. Oh. What? What happened? You know that feeling you get in your balls when you go in a car, like, and you're going over a hill. Where you're going downhill and then way it goes uphill really quick. Like it sinks back into you? What is that? <laughs> I gotta ask Dr. Steve that. Why do you get a feeling in your ball bag when you go down a hill and then back up like that? What is that? Well, it's basically the it's just sinking back and it's gravity kind of pulling you back towards the center of your own gravity, which would be where you're seated. <laughs> I don't buy that. Yeah. Because it's when you go up and over a hill, or when you go down and up, so you're getting the 
the uh, increase in G's there, and negative G's on your ball bag. <laughs> you don't have any H's or I's or something. <laughs> 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 so, so, so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got. Uh, fucking off. I got a mustache. Sus. That's when you have a bunch of mushes and you hide them somewhere. Sus. Sus. We got a guy that had this in in the eighth grade. Oh, stop. Jim in Philly. Uh, yeah, right what do you got? Big balls. Yeah, it's called uh, testicular torsion. Oh. And uh, the same shit happened to me. Like in, uh, it was like the summer of eighth grade, and I woke up one morning and. My balls do imitations. It's testicular gorsion. <laughs> it's an old it's joke. Yeah, it's funny, though. It, it feels like you get hit in the balls, like, just all fucking day. And then, yeah, it gets this mind to get, like, a soccer ball. I mean, I would definitely collect donations at that point. But, like, I got, I got at least, like, a softball. Don't and they also call that, like, a twisted yo-yo or something? Yeah. They like, have, like, like your, ball, your, your testicles in your sack... They are connected, obviously. They don't just sit there like click clacks. They're connected with some fucking, you know, tubes and shit. And, uh, and, uh, they, but they have to be, uh, able to drop down. Right. Or suck back up. Right. So they, it actually is like a little yo yo thing. And that whole, that, that, that little array of stuff that holds your balls there, it could sometimes twist Ugh. and, and kink like a hose. Like a kink toes. That's exactly what they. Explain. And that fucks yeah. up your uh, your your fucking balls. And Ooh. yours got up to the size of a softball. What do they do for you? Well, it was the, uh, the worst part was that my grandparents were ever watching me, so I I had to go to my fucking you know eighty year old grandma and say, hey, you know, like I think something's wrong down there. And, you know, I was bit by a snake, uh, Grandma. You got to suck the poison out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, then why are you putting it in my ass? <laughs> Get it ready for your mouth. <laughs> that guy just calls in to help the show out. <laughs> and then he's fucking his grandma in the ass. And then the mouth. He's doing yes, ATM. And then the mouth. A little grandma. ATM. Great. Yeah, exactly. Pull those uh, teeth out. I guess, uh, I guess we don't care uh, what happens great. here. But uh, do you have normal balls now? Well, I mean, that's the shitty part. Because once, they, you know, they expand to, like, a softball, I mean, like, you know, they don't grow back to the, it's like It's like losing a lot of weight and, at once. So you got, I got, got, like, you know, oh. you know some wrinkles. So I look got like, half I a Hulk a bag. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of skin yeah. down there? Say so what? You got a lot of skin down there? Yeah, yeah, but like... Like a deflated basketball yeah. or something? Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh, there you go. That's See how that fucking blows. When someone says slap me five chests, give me some skin, right? So you just throw your balls yeah, or something. Right, right. I chest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Chet. They, they told you. They, they were like. They were like. If you, didn't come to a show, you would have uh, lost. Uh, you would have like not been able to have kids and shit. So yeah, they were really fucking serious. <laughs> Hello. All right, Jim. Thank you. We got we got the man himself on the line. Doctor Steve, we got a story of a guy his uh, fucking balls or his scrotum uh, got up to 134 pounds. Nice. And he said he uh, moved in the middle of the night and fucking felt an incredible pain. I guess he what yeah. twisted the wrong way or something, and that's what he's yeah. claiming caused this, which I doubt very much. Yeah. Yeah, that's called massive scrotal edema. What the fuck? And, uh, well, a lot of times it'll happen when the uh, uh, venous supply of the scrotum is blocked. So here's the thing. Veins are uh, very compressible, uh, uh, thin wall vessels, whereas arteries are muscular and hard to compress. So if you get um, some compression of the vein, then the arteries can still pump blood in. But oh, man. Water fucking balloon. Yeah, it's a, it's just a, uh, you know, a hydrostatic situation where you've got water pumping in, and it can't come out, and so it just pumps these, uh, this scrotum, which is already uh, pretty loose and uh, elastic, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It will stop when the pressure pushing in equals the pressure pushing out but oh. with the scrotum that takes a long time it can get huge oh my god so when, when they say they removed a mass though is it just flood or is it uh it's probably stretching well, the shit out of stuff in there right yeah there's uh it's the the testicles are still there but they're they don't grow they're the, inside that giant sack there will be two probably uh 
a trophic little testicle. <laughs> a trophic. And, a trophic. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, you get that if you come in second place. That's all that. Doctor Chip. So, so, I kind of uh, like Doctor Chip. But yeah. yeah, a lot of the tissue in there will become just sort of uh, boggy, and there won't, there might not necessarily be a lot of free fluid. Although there, there may well be, you know, and one that size, I, he's probably got a few gallons of uh, fluid, oh. as, as well as just tissue that's um, you know boggy and enlarged, swollen and and fucking like uh, impregnated with fluid. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. So, so how do you take care of this? Uh, surgery is the only the only option on that. Compression will actually make it. Does everyone work. get soaked in the operating room? Oh, oh yeah. Wait, yeah, compression will do what? Compression will just make it worse. Like so people think, well, you got a swollen leg, you put them in a compression stocking. But compress, uh, compressing uh, swollen ball bag will actually make the, uh, the, the problem worse. So you can't jump up and down on it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like it. Sometimes people with cancer, uh, you get torsion of the testicles will cause uh, torsion of the testicles where you twist the cord of the testicle mm. so much that it cuts off the blood supply. Now that's a surgical emergency, but usually it doesn't cause a scrotum that's you know fourteen pounds or forty pounds or whatever you said. You could probably lose a testicle that way if it's not receiving nourishment. Absolutely. Oh, Jesus. This guy got it up to 134 pounds. You wow. chicks think it's fucking, your, your tits yeah. are a problem. Jesus Christ. Got these yeah. fucking balls hanging Just down. Imagine trying to walk around with that shit hanging between your legs. Oh, man. my God. Yeah, you have to bounce on them or something. So, 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 so. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I, I really think I like this one. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, uh, so much fun. So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Dr. Steve, that's terrible. You want to take uh, ball bag questions right now? Yeah, sure. Because sure. you're freaking out everybody. We got a guy, Rocco, in Jersey. He needs to talk to you immediately. Uh, it is Rocco. <laughs> Rocco. Rocco, what's up? Dr. Steve, 44, um, I got big sack of varicose veins. I mean, I think for me they're big. And, you know, they hurt when someone touches them, like my wife touches them. Ah! Maybe Chip could touch them. Um, anyway, Boy. what do you suggest? Okay, I missed it. He's I got a big a ball sack full of varicose, varicose veins. veins. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, if you read, a lot of people will have that. Um, there are veins around the testicles that draw the heat away. As you may know that you can only make sperm if uh, the testicles are three to six degrees below body temperature. And so there's like a, uh, a heat exchanger, which is, uh, you know, this plexus of veins around the testicle that draws heat away back up into the body. And you can get varicose veins there just like you can anywhere else in the, in the you know, in the lower extremities. And when you reach down there and feel, it'll feel like a bag of worms. Yeah. Ah. And, uh, just, and just can't go fishing with them now. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When that happens, they lose their heat exchange capability. And so people with varicoceles, which is what that's called, will very often be infertile. And uh, the only way that this can be treated, is, uh, if you want to treat it, is to have a, a urologist strip away those things. Now, Dr. Steve, um, yeah. uh, you're talking about, like, uh, the temperature of the ball bag. That's kind of why it hangs down there. So it's like, a, you know, it's like an air-cooled little engine. Um, yeah. Now, if I wear, uh, like, uh, socks on my ball bag, you know, just yeah. pull and keep it real warm, uh, would it uh, not, is that a good form of birth control? What's that <laughs> I would say it's a reliable form of birth control, but yeah. it would affect your sperm count over time. Yeah, if I fuck a, uh, a girl and I, I, I have like a 100-watt a light bulb and I lay my balls on them as I'm pounding away, uh, problem? Yes, yeah, it would look like your balls just had a great idea. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Person, Steve, guy, <laughs> guy. Uh, wow, that's something. 
Yeah, that's a crazy fucking thing to oh, have. Oh, varicose veins. Varicose fucking veins and in your ball bag. You'd be infertile. Yeah. yeah. So I guess you have to move out of fertile. So, 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 so I guess another yes, 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 yes. yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wearing a little thin there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm wearing right. thin, yeah, because it's really nice outside. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, Rocco. We're going to move on to the next ball bag problem. We got Louie in Westchester. Louie, you're on with Dr. Steve. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Hey, man. Dr. Steve, I got a, I got a uh, black little spot in the middle of my ball bag. Oh, boy. You got, you got a what? You a black him. spot. You heard him. Oh, a black spot. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Um, is it painful at all? Uh, not really. Okay, and is it raised a little bit, like there might be a little something under the skin there? Uh, possibly, maybe. I'm feeling it right now. Oh. Uh, it might be a little raised. How big is yeah. it? Uh, it's not very big. I would say the size of a small pimple. Your cock? Okay. No, not <laughs> my cock. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the ball bag is real, uh, uh, or it's very prone to developing little cysts. There, it, it, uh, if you look at your, if your nut sack, you may see these little white spots all over the place. Those are called four dice spots, which are actually what are they uh, called? The four dice. Four dice. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I was going to do that. <laughs> yes. What are you dice play or something? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They are uh, little uh, sebaceous glands, little oil glands, and every once in a while, one of those things will get really clogged up and cause a blackhead. Oh, jeez. Black oh, it it'll be... Ladies, don't get too turned on with this fucking <laughs> right. discussion about our fucking zitty ball bags. Exactly. This sebaceous one's for you. This fucking... one's for you. Yeah. Wow, one one for the ladies. It doesn't look like a blackhead, though. Okay, okay. If it's black... And it's on your skin, and it's not a black. Uh -oh. I would get it. You're unemployed. <laughs> what? Just wow. To, uh, <laughs> uh, just to uh, I, either a dermatologist or a urologist, let them take a look at it. Those kinds of things are the hardest thing to diagnose over the air. Uh oh, you know that. Means. Oh boy, you know what that I means. I don't. I don't want a piece of that. Yeah, he doesn't want any responsibility. Uh, no, I'm just saying, if I could see. Good luck with the chemo. Immediately, but yeah, uh, you know it. it you can get um, little vascular uh, changes of the skin in the ball bag, too, because the skin is so thin. You get a little uh, thing called a hemangioma. Oh, Jesus, uh, all the stuff you get. Uh, I'd, I'd, I I'd, I'd have to taste it to get a uh, <laughs> diagnosis. It's a hemangioma is a collection of capillaries, and they're usually red, but every once in a while one will clot off and it will turn black. Oh. So that may be what it is, and, uh, but I definitely get it checked. Any black lesion on the skin needs to get checked. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Let's move on to, uh, this is a terrific segment here. Why yes. don't we move on to um, Steve in Massachusetts. He's got yes. uh, three testicles, Dr. Steve. Steve? Oh. I'm actually looking for uh, Chip's opinion. <laughs> okay. What does Chip think? What's your question? I have uh, three balls. Well, kind of two, two and a quarter balls. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's yeah? yeah. What's your nickname? Like the three ball wonder or something? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Fucking, he loses air lab. That's the best. It was just such a disappointment. <laughs> it really was. After riding so high. Like, I knew he had his hopes up for a really good Chip yeah, one, yeah. and Chip just lets you down gave, every time. Chip gave you nothing. <laughs> so, Steve, you got two regular balls and one that's a lot smaller, making uh, the third. Yeah, it's like a two-and-a-half men show or something. Since yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Yeah? What do you think? What is what, what causes that? Dr. Steve, have you heard of this? Sure. It's most likely a collection. The third testicle is most likely a collection of fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah, we love when you it. say fluid. That's his catchphrase. Yeah. Uh, if you take a pen light and put it behind that third testicle, and if it lights up like VT's finger, it's most likely a, a clear collection of fluid called a hydroseal. A hydroseal. Hydro can it bounce the ball in its nose or something? <laughs> <laughs> And if you, if you just let your doctor take a look at it, they can usually tell if that's what it is. Those things don't have to be removed. 
uh, if it's not if they're not bothering you. Now, if it's opaque, then it needs to be uh, evaluated with oh, a testicular boy. ultrasound. Oh boy! And, uh, they can usually tell whether it's a problem or. What, what 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 are the odds it's uh, part of his dead brother that never fully <laughs> developed? Joined twin that <laughs> right. only. It's a little face on it. Oh, Got to go through life with his one little oh, testicle. Imagine that. He shines the light through it, and it goes, help me. It starts talking and looking uh, uh, around. Oh, your little brother in your ball bag. Don't dilly-dally. We need the answer. <laughs> Love you guys. So much you that. I'm a long time listener. Oh, everyone's man. talking. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Steve. Right. It's a long time listener. I appreciate it. Bye, Dr. Steve. Dr. Steve. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, am I leaving, too? Uh, no, no, oh. we got one more. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, what's going on? Every once in a while, they'll have these sets. I want to try to get a picture with the VJs. Ooh, the VJs. Oh. But you can open these sets. No. <laughs> if Jimmy gets his picture, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out after the show rolling. Let's say hi to Joe in Indiana. One more for Dr. Steve before we let him go. Joe. Hey, you. I had uh, I had this problem when I had been dealing with it for about the last four years, and then in the end of February I just had surgery for it. So when you had the enlarged uh, scrotum, how, how big did yours get? Uh, maybe the size of like a junior basketball. You know, like you'd have your little kid play with. What the fuck? Come on, how did you fucking function with that? I did it. It's not very easy, but you do. You know, you learn to deal with it. There's no way I, that dude out in, that had that 134 pound. There's no way. I mean, mine got to the point where it was starting to block off the uh, the urine flow and stuff, and that's the reason. I mean, and I've been to the doctors. Oh, I've been to urologists. I was to you know family <laughs> doctors, and all trying to you know care. figure out. And they knew David it was Allen Greer. Yeah. But they couldn't ever figure out why we couldn't get it off. Well, Jimmy's talking. Yeah, to a specialist. Yeah, Joe. And the specialist said they had to do surgery. It just came out of shade. Yeah, or going in the shade. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, Joe, I think. Wow. So did you have to get, like, bigger pants or fucking, you obviously didn't go to the beach for a while, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> hmm. No. Um, no, not really. How excited just, Jimmy is. You know, Really got his camera. Did he get a picture? No, because they're friends. David Allen Greer like oh, oh. recognized Jimmy. So oh, that's he why did. Jimmy's very excited. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know, know that. that. Yeah, Joe. Wow, that's crazy. fucked up, dude. Oh, the surgery was a mother, dude. Man, they take a skin. He's waiting for the VJs. They remove. Yeah. That's like his big get for the day. He's checking his camera. Then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, he's doing <laughs> test shots. He's doing Kenny. a test shot with Kenny. Always the and test shot. Holy shit. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow, whoa. Wow, that sounds really Holy bad. Holy shit. Now he's checking the test shot to make yeah. sure everything is Is Kenny going to take the picture? Properly. Does Kenny have proper clearance? Yeah, Kenny will be taking the picture <laughs> yeah. when Jimmy does it with the beat. Holy shit. Dude, how did you... Were you with a girl at the time, or... Uh... <laughs> no. Uh -uh. No? How long did you have it? Uh, I, had, I dealt with it for about four years. So you weren't with a girl for four years? No. Yeah. Holy shit, what's wrong with you? Well, about the first about the first two years it wasn't so bad. It was it was probably the size of a baseball, but then in the last you know even a baseball no, I'm sorry. is bad enough. Exactly. Sorry yours got up to a mini basketball, but even a baseball. A baby, you would can't, be a, yeah, you a major can't get issue into, for a guy. You can't get into the sack with a right. chick uh, with a baseball sized ball bag. Did you did you curse God? <laughs> uh, no, but I whatever was going Mine got up to a fucking, oh, you know, a cursing. baseball, I'd be cursing God. Cursing God. I'd be saying, why me? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. All right, Joe, that was a great story. Thank you, Joe. We appreciate it. Dr. Steve, you got anything for Joe? No, just uh, be well, my brother. Yeah. Be well, my brother. <laughs> Dr. Steve, you want to plug anything? Sure, got weird medicine.